there, this is Vanessa DeBerle and thank you for coming to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income guilt-free. And today, please stick around. This, I even learned a lot from today. I, I decided to do some research and figure out what increases your open rate in your email marketing. I know how important it is to have an email marketing list. I've talked about it before, but I really never dug in deep to find out what helps cause those open rates. And I actually learned a few um, tips today myself, and I want to share them with you. So I did spend a little bit of extra time um, getting this information, and I think you're going to find it really valuable. So stick around. And I also have three free uh, things for you at the end. If you don't want to learn how to increase your rates and you want the free stuff, just jump there. But I really I, I encourage you to stick around and, and see what these tips are about. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is create a sequence and have your email marketing set up. But let's say you're sending it out and you're your percent of people opening actually opening your emails is low and you might say well what is low it was from some of the research that i've done and my numbers might be different if you're getting about a 25 percent open rate you're doing pretty well and that's um, a percentage that i found that's kind of um, worldwide um, because a lot of people are sending emails to other countries not just the united states and things like that so the average is roughly 25 percent so let's say you're sitting at three or four percent well then you probably want to find some ways to increase that rate one of the one way is to ask your readers to simply put your email address into their contact list and then that way you won't go to spam most people will do that um, just because you ask now if you start sending them emails and they're not finding any value they always have the option to unsubscribe and stop getting your emails so people like that they have found that when when you ask people to do that it does increase your emails being delivered and opened so that's one thing you want to start to do when is the best time to send an email well i found this little uh, some data here and typically the best time to send emails or the best time that they're opened is on tuesdays i found that interesting and the second best time was on friday so if you send yours once a week you might want to choose tuesday or friday and they also found that most readers are most likely to open their emails after 12 o'clock. Now, I have read in other research that I've done that a lot of people sit at work and they check emails. Think about it. We all do that if you have a desk job. And typically, they will work hard in the morning. Lunchtime comes. Maybe they'll have their lunch, start opening emails during their lunch. And then from there, it's downhill as far as their... Um, work productivity so basically you want people to open them so you might want to send your emails right around noon or right around 11 o'clock because around noon is a good open rate time and i've read that before between 12 and 3 is the best time to send your emails and so now we know it's on tuesdays and fridays 12 to 3 best time after 24 hours you're the likelihood of people opening them go way down so you want to hit them during those prime times all right here's another tip use your name um, you know in the subject line uh, a lot of people will say who it's from and a lot of times they'll put their company or their little tagline from their business and it has been proven that rates go up as much as 35% if you put your name. Now, some people might say, yeah, but a lot of people don't know me. I'm not, you know, Gary Van Vanderchuk. Um, you know, they're not going to open it for me. But once they get to know you and they see that you're a person, people are more likely to open it than they are if you put your company name. So use your name. Don't be afraid. Um, and people will start seeing you as a person and start warming up to you. They found um, in the research, I thought this was interesting right here, that even though it is proven that you should send your name, 89% of email marketing people or campaigns do use company names. So if you think about it, you have a little bit of an edge on other people if you start doing that and making it more personal. Okay, I just have a couple more uh, tips, so hang in there. Okay, subject line, very, very, very important. But this is what I found interesting. We already probably knew that you want to create curiosity. You're trying to get that perfect subject line to get them to open it. We all know that, right? But this I found interesting, number two. 
they I found some research and subject lines that are roughly six to ten words get the highest open rate if you have it too short there's not enough there to intrigue people if it's way too long you're you're going off and they you know they you lose them let's put it that way but if you're about six to ten i think it fits really well on a mobile app and when people open it they can see it and it's short and sweet but long enough to give some information now with that you want to cause uh, create some curiosity and you know that what causes you to open up an email um, and it's funny I pay attention I have several people I get emails from just because I want to see what they're doing and lots of times when I click it I go, why did I click that one and it could be because of who sent it sometimes it is and sometimes it's someone I never read their emails and then all of a sudden they have a really catchy subject line so cause cure, create that curiosity and create a sense of urgency I actually sent one out a couple weeks ago and it was the truth that whatever I was offering to my um, email list was something that was going to expire within 24 hours and I said you know 24 more hours that's it I had a super high open rate and because I had created that sense of urgency and again it was true there was only 24 hours left now I found this one the next two very interesting personalize the person's name in the email so you know if I see something that says hey Vanessa blah 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 I'm gonna be tuned into that because my name was there so think about that you don't want to overkill it and do it all the time but here and there put the person's name and this one was very interesting it has been found that when people use movie titles or song lyrics open rates go up so you might do some research and find out what movies are trending what songs are trending and then be clever in how you can put them in your title your subject line for instance I'm all shook up over blah 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 um, so get creative think outside the box and include those things that people are using now I'm gonna go a step further I know gaming is really big I would be curious to know if adding a game title in there some popular games I don't know which ones are popular but maybe that would cause people to open them as well all right this is the last one last tip <clears throat> excuse me words matter did you know that most emails that are clicked have words like secrets e-sales and awesome in the subject line that causes people to open um, however when there are words like confirm features upgrade those get reported as spam now there's lots of words out there that are reported as spam I would advise you to go out do a little bit of research get a list of those spam words and don't use them and people this one I found interesting people are less likely to open if you have a question mark or a hashtag um, so pay attention to that as well um, when another um, thing include the word video in the subject line and rates increased by six percent which I found that interesting so if you have a cool video that you're showing let them know in that subject line so that they know all right and that is it um, for our tips and I told you I had some free stuff for you definitely subscribe to my channel I have a free trial below click it for a free autoresponder if you're not if you don't have an email marketing list you need to start one and I have a free trial below click that for a free autoresponder I also have a free book I've done a video on it before it's called dot-com secrets 25 percent of the book it's split into four sections talks about email sequencing and how to set that up and it's something you have to do in your business if you want to grow and be successful and finally I have a free five-day affiliate marketing mastery challenge free training for five days delivered to you through Facebook Messenger which will help you launch your affiliate marketing business thank you for watching um, I hope this was helpful give me a thumbs up and like I said I thought there were some really good tips maybe you're doing all those things and that's awesome um, if you found one thing in there that you can tweak to get your rates up then feel free to use them I hope it was helpful like I said give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment I'd appreciate it